My favorite impact doesn't hold sockets anymore. So in today's episode of Tool Demos, I'll show you how I fix that. And we're getting it started right now. This is a 3 8 drive Nano from Astro Pneumatic, but most impacts are about the same. On the end of the anvil is a metal retaining ring that you can see, and underneath that retaining ring is a rubber O-ring that keeps this gap from collapsing too far. That rubber O-ring on this impact is worn out and this gap has closed, so we're gonna replace both the O-ring and the retaining ring. So I just sent an email to customer service asking how I could purchase them, and a very friendly person got back to me saying that if I just needed these two rings, send them my address and she'll get them out in the mail. They came in about a week. So I've got the O-ring, here's the part number. And there's the retaining ring. Pretty awesome, thanks Astro. So that's how those two parts fit together. The O-ring will stretch out over the anvil and then the retaining ring will be under tension on top of that O-ring. I've got magnetic soft jaws that I'm just gonna put in the vise. So as I'm twisting, I'm gonna get another screwdriver in there. And just kind of pry it off. Now once it's out of its home, it's kind of under spring tension right now. So I'm gonna pull that out. Just grab onto it with a pair of pliers. And there you go, you heard it snap closed or snap back to its relaxed position. Uh, <laughs> if you don't grab it with pliers, the thing will go flying across the shop. All right, I'm just gonna grab that with a pick. And there you go. So here's the old O-ring. It's just chewed up and worn out. It's time to replace it. I'll just stretch it over this way and roll it over. There we go. There's the retaining ring. It's in much better shape and that's about the gap that you want there. I'm gonna use this spark plug and glow plug installer tool from Muller Coops. Um, basically, this is a soft tool that's pretty dense and has that shape to it. All right, so like the O-ring, we're going to put it on at an angle, put my tool on top of it, and we're gonna roll it on top of the, and we're gonna roll it on top of the anvil like that. Perfect. Test it out. I like it. I'm really happy now that this impact works as it should. It retains the socket without it falling off now, and I can remove it without too much effort. So you saw me use a screwdriver to open up that gap and get the ring off of the anvil. When you're installing the new ring, don't use a screwdriver or anything else to open up that gap because you'll ruin the ring. It's not gonna fit properly anymore. It needs to be pushed on just with a little bit of effort. You can even do it in your hand, but it'll probably leave a pretty good mark on your hand. If you use a softer tool like that rubber installation tool, it's gonna work out much better for you. Thank you once again to Astro Pneumatic for sending me out the repair parts for this Nano. I really appreciate that you stand behind your tools and I love using your tools in the shop. Until next time, thanks for watching. Click here to stay up to date on all my future videos. And click here to catch up on previous episodes. I'll wait up for you.